let's take a look at how we can work on multiple images to open multiple images in Photoshop I need to go to the open option from here or I can use the file open or the shortcut control O here I have few options of opening images I'll just control click and select all these images and give open so now I have five windows in my Photoshop having different images in here what I can do is I, I'm gonna click and drag here so I can put it in this way I can tear off this window and uh, make it separate as you can see and if I want to just uh, put it in here I can just drag and add it here as well this way I can work on multiple windows and multiple images I can just control tab and toggle along with them and that's how you work with the multiple images now let's take a look at guides go to view menu show sorry you need to go to guides new guide I can give a uh, vertical or horizontal two different types of guides let's say uh, this uh, inches can also work in percentage like say I give 50 percentage of uh, it will come in the middle of the horizontal here it came exactly in the middle of the horizontal direction now I can do the same I want to do the vertical 50% and then I will be able to find out the exact center of the image which is here okay I can use the move tool I can click and drag and move it around if I want to like so Control H will hide the guides Control H to bring it back if I press Control R I'll get a ruler here where I can see where this is this is exactly at 38 inches right now as I move as you can see that it, it is moving along the I'm holding shift so it will go in 500 and I can just click and drag and move put it back here you can drag and put it back here I can use as many as much I want here like so this will be very useful in terms of layout and also things and spacing where spacing is important I can go to view and show guides I can hide guides using this just one single click or I can just use the shortcut that is control colon it's a semicolon sorry control semicolon okay. control edge is also something you could use I can see a grid as well I have an option of grid control comma is an option here here you have a grid now I can use this to align this horizon to the grid let's use control T transform I'll just scale up the image a little bit and now I have my horizon exactly on the grid uh, and uh, this sort of off right now so i can what i can do is i can rotate this a little bit and there i have my horizon perfectly aligned control comma grid off control h to make guides off i can use the move tool to move it around view Then control H to bring back the guides. So put off the grid and the guides as well. Now I want to see the smart guides. You see these pink lines around? These are the smart guides. It shows it is currently in alignment to the top layer. From the top, it is perfectly aligned. If I move to center here, it is perfectly aligned vertically and uh, 
Đang ngồi đắp There I get the horizontal line It's perfectly aligned horizontally as well I can use these guys to make a alignment like corner, center, top Pretty much uh, to the corners or center of the canvas 